Variability of practice refers to an SSH which instead of using a constant scheme and approach to train for example a specific technical gesture, the practice is built with also other skills or gestures involved. Often coaches call this as a theory of chaos. Previously, we saw already an example of Jose Mourinho exercise, which from his experience on the pitch, he talks about the importance of the variability of exercise in football. From a scientific perspective here, the authors determine variable versus constant practice effects on implicit model learning in continuous pursuit tracking, and they found that learning the skills were generally improved by variable practice, as compared with constant practice. An important benefit of movement variability during motor skill acquisition is the facilitation of transfer to novel motor tasks. In other words, by practicing several variations of a motor task, one can more effectively perform other motor tasks than share structural similarities. In football, this can be connected to street football or futsal, which, with a different ball size, pitch size, ground floor, different bips, or just playing without them and other factors, Coaches say that children learn from their the creativity of the game. Today it's more uncommon that children play street football, and coaches use more side games to replicate also the variability of the game. From the youth football to adult, for example, this exercise by Jose Mourinho. This exercise is composed by four teams, the yellow, the blue, the green and the orange, of five players for each group. The four in the area you see, there are 20 players in the player ball possession exercise, which the goal is to gain space, and obviously improve technical gestures, as well as tactical gestures. This is an idea of exercise that you see the teams are allowed to use hands and feet, so, this is the variability of exercise from the game. Still, the challenge is to adapt it to the level of the players and the age at the your training. If you would like to know more about this topic, you can find the related research in the description below. Also, if you feel that you found the video useful, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below about your favorite research. Thank you for watching and goodbye!